What's up, bros? If you're checking to see if you got a shout out, then watch the video almost all the way to the end because that's where the shout outs are. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Nerf Zombie Strike Revoltinator. Here's the front of the box. Here's the back of the box. All right, so let's open it. Included with the blaster, we get 18 zombie strike darts and an 18 round mag. Now this mag actually looks cool because it looks like it was just put together from scratch since it's in the zombie, stri zombie strike line and it's not like the other 18 round mags. This blaster, when you push on the rev trigger, we have these lights and sounds that come on. Yeah, there's a carry handle up here. This looks like it's a cell phone tape in the back. There's also a, a light up Nerf logo up here. There's a jam door over here. There's a tactical rail on here, here, and that is it. There's a sling mount right here. It already comes with batteries inside, and just in case you're running, wondering, it takes four double A batteries. And if you want to put the batteries in, there's a Phillips screw right here and you unscrew it and take off this bottom part and put the batteries in and put it back on. Let's take a look at the gun in low light. There's two light and sound patterns and here's the first one. And now here's the second one. It. These darts weigh one gram and they're 12.7 millimeters wide. 69 FPS, uh, 0.23 joules. 66 FPS, 0.2 joules. 64 FPS, 0.2 joules. 66 FPS, 0.2 joules. 67 FPS, 0.21 joules. 61 FPS, 0.18 joules. So let me see here. I got five shots here. The maximum was 69.9 FPS. The minimum was 61.8 FPS. And the average was 66.5 FPS and it was usually around 0.2 joules. So let's go do a range and accuracy test. First, we're gonna be doing an accuracy test by shooting this target at 15 feet. So I only hit the target a couple times, um, although it still is pretty good because all the times I didn't hit it, it was somewhere near it. And this is a really small target. If I was shooting a person, I would have hit, hit him every time. Now let's do a range test. All right, I'm about 45 feet away from the target and now I'm gonna be doing a range test. First, I'm gonna be doing a couple shots aiming straight. Now I'm going to be doing a couple angled shots. All right. So most of the straight shots bounced, so they went farther, but I was looking, and most of the shots aiming straight landed around here. 
And we were 45 feet away, this is around 10 feet. So if you're aiming the gun straight, most of the shots are probably gonna go about 35 to 40 feet maximum. Now whenever I had the gun aimed like this, most of the shots hit the wall around here. So since I was 45 feet away, if I have the gun angled, it'll probably go at least another 10 feet. So it would probably shoot at least 55 feet, maybe even 60 feet angled. All right guys, here are my final thoughts. What the zombies? Nerf has a brand new blaster coming out called the Nerf Ultra 1. And this blaster will have the farthest flying Nerf dart ever. All right guys, now here are my final thoughts. First of all, as you can see, this is great for blasting zombies. And overall, I think it's just a really great gun. It's similar to the Strife. The internals are probably exactly the same. It works really good. I didn't, actually I might've had one jam, but that was because of me pulling the trigger in a weird way. It, besides that, it didn't have any jams. It shot great. I like how the magazine looks. It was pretty powerful, actually. I feel like this is more powerful than actually a lot of flywheels. There's some flywheels that tend to be not very powerful for some reason, I'm not sure why, but this one actually seemed very powerful. It shot pretty far, especially if you're shooting this angled, it can go really far. It looks cool. It's a good idea how they had the lights and sounds. They spent a lot of detail into this, obviously, with the phone, and they spent a lot of detail, really, on all the zombie strike guns. And overall, I like it a lot. All right, guys, all right, it's shout-out time. Shout out time. The first shout out goes to Adomas Stankevicus. The next shout out goes to Edith Reyes. The next shout out goes to Jello. The next shout out goes to Meefs and Weefs Gaming Club. The next shout out goes to Etienne Van Onselen. The next shout out goes to Airsoft Frog Hopper. The next shout out goes to Elite Shepherd. The next shout out goes to Vincent Topete. The next shout out goes to PatsFan12873. The next shout out goes to Bunny Ayuyao David. The next shout out goes to Patrick Ramos Vlog. The next shout out goes to Weekday Moto Vlogs. The next shout out goes to Kid Slasher 0976. The next shout out goes to John Matthew Kennedy. The next shout out goes to Torpifies. The next shout out goes to Hunter Eisenhart. The next shout out goes to Walker's Bricks. The next shout out goes to Lanz PH Salamanca. The next shout out goes to Tanacorn Rabufin 7A. The next shout out goes to Saucy G. The next shout out goes to Drew Ovarez. The next shout out goes to Lian Sangpui K. The next shout out goes to Callie Armstrong. The next shout out goes to Soy Jesus G. The next shout out goes to Christy Wilson. And the last shout out goes to Vaporize TV. Bros, here are two ways you can get a shout out. You can go to our gaming channel, which is Happy Family 1004 Gaming, or our Airsoft channel, Happy Family 1004 Airsoft, and leave a comment on one of our videos that says shout out on Happy Family 1004. That way I'll know that you want a shout out for this channel. 
If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to hit the notifications bell and subscribe. Be happy, peace out.